Hey people, um, I've been getting a few questions asking um, what is the benefit of rooting your Android phone? Well, I'm gonna fucking show you. I have a Samsung Galaxy S2. I know the S4 is out. No, I'm not gonna fucking upgrade. I like my S2. It's by AT&T. Uh, let me turn this way. Type in my code. Alright, so since uh, TouchWiz is laggy as fuck, I'm using the Apex Launcher. Now, you can use the Apex Launcher without root. You can just download it from the Play Store. Okay, so one of the fucking benefits, or some of the fucking benefits rather, of having a rooted phone is you can run this nifty program called Attaway. It blocks ads on just about fucking everything, and I need to update mine. You can only use this app if you have root. Okay. Um, another thing is uh, you can actually interchange the ROM to make it look completely different and interact with you completely different than you know how it how it is now um, I would show you but uh, the last time I booted a ROM uh, fucked up some shit uh, and I soft bricked my fucking phone and it sucked and I revived it so I'm not you know really gonna flash another ROM anytime soon because of that um, Alright, moving on. Another thing is you can uh, run Root Explorer. What Root Explorer is, it's a uh, file explorer. And basically you can see all of the fucking files and folders and whatnot in your phone. However, I only recommend you use this program if you know what the fuck you're doing I know what the fuck I'm doing and I don't even there's shit in here that I don't even fucking touch like um let's see some random fucking directory um like I don't know fucking system here and like fucking lib and like all this fucking shit you know I I wouldn't touch that because I don't know what I'm fucking doing but you know I just look around and shit um you know I don't I don't touch anything now I have had to use that program to go in and you know delete something because the phone wouldn't let me delete it by fucking default and it sucked so I had to use that another thing is ROM manager basically like I was saying you compute different ROMs uh, this manages ROMs for you. This app will only work if you have root. Basically, what root is, is you're going from guest user to administrator. That's it. it, it that's all it does to your phone. Uh, it does open a few security risks, but if you cover your ass, you're good. Uh, you know, Google it. That's all I can say is Google it, Google the pros and cons. Another thing is Wi-Fi Tether. You can only use Wi-Fi Tether if you have root. What Wi-Fi Tether is, uh, now there are some Wi-Fi Tethers that you can use without root, but I believe that they suck. I'm not quite sure, never used them because I'm rooted and I can use this one, which is awesome. Now basically what this does is it turns my phone into a wireless router so I can turn my data on I, I turn data off if you haven't noticed uh, no data just Wi-Fi I turn data off because AT&T they're assholes about charge overcharging you for fucking data and shit so I leave mine off but what you can do with Wi-Fi tether is you can basically connect any other device to your phone 
and use the internet. Like, at work, I don't have access to the fucking internet through work means. Yes, there is internet at work, but they don't trust me with a fucking password to it or whatever. I don't know. I can't get on it. So, I basically, you know, bring my laptop to work and I connect my laptop to uh, my phone. And I can use the internet through my phone on my laptop. Now, the thing with that is, is that you have to be careful and only use it sometimes because if your provider finds out, <laughs> you, uh, yeah, it might not be too good. Just a warning. And I'm not responsible. You know, if your provider does find out and, you know, uh, you saw this video, moving along. Titanium backup. This thing is awesome. It will back up everything everything in your phone everything I mean just everything you name it it'll fucking back it up you can only have this app if you are rooted well you can have the app but it won't work unless you're rooted I mean It'll even back up shit out. I don't even know what the fuck that is. It'll back it up. Uh, that's pretty much it besides... Uh, besides, you know, certain apps and um, the uh, booting of different ROMs. However, I will show you um, the means for booting you know different ROMs <laughs> go to uh, I have a I have a custom recovery on my phone and what that is is basically if anything goes wrong with my phone you know I can reset it to the factory default whatever um, every phone comes with one it's you know built into your phone however since mine is custom it's been modified and it's a lot better than the one that the ones that come you know with your phone and um, the uh, the only way to <coughs> excuse me the uh, the only way to have that is uh, to have a uh, rooted phone so I have clockwork mod recovery there's also twerp recovery um, I've never used it. I've always used Clockwork Mod, and I love it. So, um, as you can see, my uh, current kernel is the AJ kernel. This is a CMW Manager 3.0, um, and I am running. I'll show you. I am running Jelly Bean. Bing. 4.1.2. Uh, it's official. Um, basically, um, I'm pretty much stock. I know AJ Kernel 4.9 is out. You know, if if you, you know what I'm talking about and uh, you're watching this video, um, I just haven't upgraded yet. So leave me alone. But um, yeah. So I'm using Jelly Bean. Um, I want to upgrade to KitKat, uh, but I'm not going to be able to get an official update. And I like using stock. I just like using the Apex launcher here. Uh, so I don't know. I, I might have to try out some KitKat ROMs when they come out. But um, let me show you Clockwork Mod Recovery. This video is getting a little long. La la la, la la la, Charlie, we rebooted into Clockwork Mod Recovery, Charlie. Well, uh, yeah, okay, uh, whatever you said there. 
Alright, so anyway, um, this is Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, basically, this is how you reset your phone and to complete factory default and uh, boot different ROMs. Um, you can also do a uh, backup and restore, and basically, what that is is it takes a picture of everything on your phone and puts it into one file kinda like Norton Ghost or Windows 7 back it up or backup or whatever yeah it's uh... it's pretty awesome and you can uh... you can back up to the uh... internal SD card or if you have an external SD card plugged in I have a, a 16 gigabyte uh... SD card plugged in so I you know expanded my memory there so I can put it on that or I can put it on the internal memory uh. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, and no, you can't do backups with uh, uh, stock recovery. You have to have a custom recovery like Twerp or Clockwork Mod here. All right, so I hope that that answered some of your questions uh, for the people that have asked me, and if they're even watching this fucking video. Anyway, um, this is Loser Jeff, and if you have any more questions, um, you know, just, uh, you know, drop me a fucking comment, or, uh, send me a fucking, uh, email message or whatever, um, and I'll try to get back to you, uh, yeah, fuck you, AT&T, as soon as I can. Alright, later.